Now we're going to divide our two factors using the partial quotients method. And the partial quotients method asks us to treat our dividend of 3 and 66 hundredths and treat it just like it's 366. Go ahead and cover up that decimal, act like it's 366. And I know that 50 times our divisor of 6 would give me 300. And 366 minus 300 is 66. And now I'm thinking in my brain of a number multiplied by 6 that's going to get me close to 66. Well, I know that 11 times 6 gives me 66. And I subtract that, and I get 0. And now I begin to add my partial quotients. 50 plus 11 is 61. And now I'm going to take this quotient of 61, and I'm going to place it over the furthest digit on the right in my dividend, which is the 6. So I make sure that my 1 goes over that furthest right digit, and then my 6 goes right over here in the next place. And now the quick tip is to just simply take this decimal in my dividend and move it straight up in my quotient. And our answer is 61 hundredths. We can think about it using estimation. And we can say, Mr. Hack, that's an ugly number. 3 and 66 hundredths is an ugly number. Instead, let's round that to $3, Mr. Hack, and let's divide it amongst our six best students. And we can say, well, OK, then each student might get 50 cents. That's our, est oops, that's our estimation. And is our answer, is our quotient close to 50 cents? Absolutely. Lastly, we could double check our answers correct by multiplying 61 hundredths, or a quotient, by our divisor, which was 6. And if we get 3 and 66 hundredths, then we know that we have a right answer.